Welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. This particular session is on uh, Ansible Playbooks, which is uh, part 4 of Ansible for System Administrator series. First thing, what are Ansible Playbooks? So in simple words, Ansible Playbooks are a way to send commands to remote computer in a scripted way. At a very basic level, I can say playbook can be used to manage configuration or manage deployments to remote systems. At advanced level, you can use uh, playbooks to perform sequential multi-tier rollouts, which may involve your rolling update, delegate some action to other hosts, or in case you want to interact with monitoring servers or uh, network devices, let's say load balancer or switches. So you can use playbook for almost every task in IT. So they are very handy. Playbooks are written in YAML format or you can say YAML language. That's very easy to read. Only thing YAML lang language is a very much a formatted language. So we need to take care of formatting. Okay, so if you can see on my screen, I got one sample playbook here. I'm going to discuss about this playbook in technical session. So let's begin technical session, friends. On my screen, uh, the first session, which is on Ansible control server, which is our Ansible master server, you can say. And this particular server, second server, which is app server. This server we are going to configure as a web server using playbook from Ansible master. So let me log in to Ansible control server. First thing I have to switch to user, which is my Ansible administration user. In my case, it's NCDM. Then I'm switching or changing directory to ETC Ansible, which is my Ansible configuration directory here. Friends, I go to playbook already created. If you see apache.yml. So yml is the format uh, or extension for a playbook. Let me show you the content which I just added in this one. I'm doing Vim on this one, so it will be colorful output. So YML playbook, let's start with the, these uh, dash dash dash. So first line is dash host, which is app group. This is a list of hosts on which this playbook can be executed. Then second line user, which user will be communicate communicating with remote server or which user will be used for communication with remote server. In my case, uh, that's NCDM. This particular user got uh, passwordless SSH connection to remote server. Become, yes. What become mean? This user can become root on remote server. Then become method, which method will be used? Either it can use su or sudo. So I'm using sudo. So here become method is mentioned as sudo. Then the next bit is task. What tasks will be performed on remote system? If you can see, uh, this is the format dash name. This mean uh, name of the task. I have named it from here. Naming begins from here. I have named it task number one. Install latest version of HTTP slash Apache RPM on my remote machine. So yum is the module, then name is equal to stpd, name mean which RPM we need want to install using yum, then state is equal to present, this RPM need to present on remote server. Then similar, I created second task, which is again name, I mentioned start service, so I'm using service module here. I'm mentioning which service, HTTPD service, then state is equal to started, I want in started state. Enabled is equal to yes. Enabled mean uh, that similar way like check config you manually enabling. So I'm using this particular service module to enable my service on remote machine. Next thing, uh, copy the standard index.html file. I want to put a dummy index.html file on my remote machine. In your enterprise server, you may go to your uh, SOE or uh, some standard image. But here, I'm just creating a dummy file. So I'm using copy module to copy file to remote server. SRC means source. Source means this Ansible control server. So on Ansible control server, I have already created this dummy file. This will be copied, which means destination. Destination will be servers in this particular group. 
to this particular directory and file name and mode mean file permission so i'm setting it to 0664 once file get copied on remote machine it will automatically get this permission next thing i'm adding a apache ip table rule so i'm using command module here command module is very simple you have to simply put the command which you want to be executed on remote machine and at the last i go to task number five which is to save ip table rule i'm using command module again then the command friend that was uh, example playbook you can customize it as per your requirements okay so friends uh, first thing i want to show you as present there is no apache package installed if you see stpd tool is installed but actual apache package which is sttpd that is not installed on the server okay so let me show you how we can check this syntax whether this playbook is written properly or not to do so you can use ansible dash playbook then the playbook name dash dash check this will fail because service is not installed on my remote system the package is not there so service can't be started so i believe it will fail but let's verify what it says If you see on screen, uh, this is the default task, which is setup task, like it is setting up uh, this playbook to be executed on remote server. These are the tasks which are mentioned in my playbook. So here it is saying changed, changed app server. It means when we will run this particular playbook in uh, actual scenario, it will install or it will change something on remote server. Change mean it will install the RPM. By default, it is not there. Then second task is failed. It gave fatal error because second task was to whether service can be started on remote machine or not. So it failed because this package is not installed. So service can't be started. So by default, it will skip other tasks until or unless you specify ignore error is equal to yes in your playbook. So I'm not much worried because I know syntax is correct. So friends, uh, let's run this playbook to run that playbook. I'm going to use Ansible playbook, then playbook name. This is Apache.yml's playbook name. Minus I mean inventory file. Inventory file, which is our etc Ansible slash host. So this particular file got uh, detail of uh, host grouping. Then minus L app group. I am just specifying in that inventory file because there are two groups. If you remember when we discussed about uh, Ansible inventory file, there are two groups uh, we created for lab setup. One was app group, second was DP group. So minus L mean I'm limiting this particular playbook for the servers in app group only. Okay, so I'm just pressing enter. In case you have doubt, just uh, rewatch the video on Ansible configuration file, which I recorded a couple of days back. So here I'm running playbook now. Okay, so first task is to see here. Uh, this is the task name starting here in the braces. So that's a custom message. You can put anything as per your requirement, which be, which makes sense to you. So right now, this particular playbook is installing package. If you see, it said OK. OK means and it is doing on app server, which is my remote server. This is app server. It not picked DB server because I have limited this command to servers on uh, this particular group. Okay, so friends, playbook is finished. First task, install Apache on uh, other server, app server. Yeah, it changed Apache, Apache on this server. It means it installed the package. Second task was to start HTTP service. It changed. It means it worked perfect. So service should be started. Third task, okay. If you see, this is in green. Why it is in green? Because it just copied the data. It not changed anything. So uh, that's a reason. Then IP table entry, that was the next task, it changed. It means it appended that file. It added something into IP table rules. So that's why it is yellow. And last task was to save IP table rule. It changed, it means uh, it appended the file. And if you see there were total six tasks, 
including this is the one default task which will happen for all playbooks so we got five custom tasks these were five custom tasks so they were completed total six tasks change is equal to four so four changes unreachable is equal to zero why let's say in this particular group, particular group you got 10 servers out of 10 servers five servers are reachable so it will tell five servers are unreachable if server is not reachable by any case failed is equal to zero let's say on any server server is reachable but any particular task fails so it will report it here right now in my case it worked fine on remote server so let's do verification here earlier if you see package was not installed i'm doing same command again you see now package came httpd now let's verify service status service status httpd sorry i did something wrong i'm confused between red hat 6 and 7 now httpd status so service is running okay friends so because i haven't manually started the service this is managed by or uh, configured by my playbook which i run from remote host then next thing ip tables ip tables minus l if you see this particular rule got created uh, on port 80 so it is accepting traffic on port 80 it, it is appearing two time because uh, one time I started uh, or added this rule manually and this is the second time it got added by playbook. Friends, so that's a benefit. Uh, otherwise, I have to log into server and run commands manually. Let's say you got 20 servers. So you can mention those 20 servers in that this particular group, which is in your, let me show you again, ttc ansible host file. So this particular group got only one server. If you go 10 servers, mention 10 servers. Just append uh, this particular group entry, add your 10 servers. All the packages will be installed parallelly on 10 servers in two minutes. So in two minutes, your web server configuration is done. So how easy it is. So that's the benefit of using uh, Ansible or uh, any automation tool. So let's verify whether I'm able to connect to my web server or not which i just configured i'm using links command http 90.10.10.220 this is ip of server i'm missing for slashes here okay if you see this is the custom data which i got in my index file yogesh web server build and configured with ansible so friends that was a demo so that's a way like you can uh, create playbooks you can customize it that was very basic playbook. In your playbook, you can add uh, some condition checks. When this particular condition match, then only it will start uh, or it should start uh, second task. If this particular keyword is there in the input, then do this task so you can customize it. This was for very basic level. If you need any information, you can leave a comment on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, let's hit like button or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video friends. Thanks. Bye-bye.